Rồi. So there are mitzvahs that are angels. They testify, so to speak. And then there are mishpotim, which are mitzvahs, which our mind somehow can encompass. And we can deduce rational reasons why we should have turned on this world. And then there are chukim, which are beyond our ability to understand. And they are like zero, they are like the creeds of heaven that, that we have to follow. So those are the three types of mitzvot. Now, the Gemara, the Medrash teaches us that when the Jewish people left Egypt, they came to Mara. And in Mara, the Medrash says, they were given three mitzvot. They were given the mitzvah of Shabbat, and they were given the mitzvah of Kibbutz the Aim, and they were given the mitzvah, according to many years out, of Torah Aduma. So these three mitzvot <laughs> represent the three categories of mitzvot. Shabbat is endless. It's testimony that uh, the Lord, so to speak, created the universe. And that on the seventh day, how would we understand that? He rested. And that's the origin of our mitzvah. So we are aided. We are witnesses. We testify to that every Shabbat. That's why there's a halacha, for instance, that the recitation of Ayyukhulu Hashemayim for Horitz that we say after Shmon Esra and for Meir on Shabbat should be decided by these two people because it's a demon agents. So you have to have a Pishnayim Aiden Yakub Dabar. So therefore, that's the consequence and the example of Aiden's Mishpatim is Kibrave. There's a logic to that. To respect your parents, to show appreciation. To acknowledge that without them you wouldn't be here. So that's uh, something that's understandable. And then Paraduma represents Sukhi, represents the ultimate decree, the Chok. The Rebbe says, Chok Chokakti, Zeyla Bazarti, 
They now told her to show you what I'm talking about. You'll never figure it out. Some of my fellows said, I mean, I'm a I'm a wise man, I'm smart, I'll figure it out. Be you the hook of me, maybe. And in the end, I have to admit that it's the irony. It's very difficult for human beings to accept things that are beyond them. So we know a cause for everything. We understand all policies. We know what to do. Even though all of human history shows that we are really without understanding. And uh, because of that, we fall into great errors that have consequences. The consequence of many times last for generations. So here we have these three categories, which represent, I think, the pillars of being a Jew. The first one is Avis, which loosely translated can be history, the past. You're testifying. You're telling us what happened. And if you don't know what happened, then you're certainly not going to understand anything in the present or the future. That's part of the great problem in the Jewish world. That uh, there's a, a tremendous attack of amnesia in the Jews simply don't remember anything. I don't know what you're talking about. And therefore, they uh, make all sorts of terrible errors because of the fact that if there's no past, so then you have no way to judge things. So the Torah said there, mistress, you remind us of the past. Shabbat, Sukkot, you remember that I put you in the Sukkot when you went out from Egypt? The whole uh, young to the Pesach is remembers. And everything is sacred, except for the mass segregation. They should be exactly tried. So the concept of Adu is one of the pillars of belief in the Jewish life. Then you have Mishpatim, that Judaism is not a religion of superstitions, even though, unfortunately, many superstitions have crept into the Jewish society. And they've crept in with the most rational of people. I can tell you from my own personal experience that uh, my mother of blessed memory, who was a very rational, knowledgeable woman, very intelligent woman. So her button fell off my shirt, off of my jacket, and she wanted to sew the button back on. She would not allow herself to do so unless I was eating at the same time. Now that's an old Polish superstition. But if you don't live a thousand years with the Poles without the government of Poland. And uh, so there, there are irrational things. But basically, Judaism is a rational religion. It's not made for people who do stupid things. It's not made for people to misjudge. And that's an important, uh, especially in the realm of halakha. Halakha is all rational discussion. Back and forth, question and answer. 
Could be a proof as to what you say. If it doesn't make sense, I won't accept it. We have many times that uh, harsh statements between the rabbis in order to back up the idea of rationality. The Ryan says, He doesn't know the left hand from the right hand. The Rambo. How well can it be based on rationality? I don't understand it completely. The text, the circumstances, or what should be the logical conclusion? Because there are different people, so there are always are different opinions. <clears throat> and potentially the opinions start themselves out. And then there are Huki, that's the third pillar. Because life itself doesn't blend itself to 100% rationality. Life itself has too many surprises, too many things that we just don't understand how it happened, why it happened. Be honest. So there are mitzvahs for that too. So those are the three basic ideas uh, that the Torah teaches us. Sabbaths, Skukim, and Mishpati. And they are the ones that allow us to have a balance in life. It can't be all Skukim, because that's autocracy, it's a dictatorship in my mind. But it can't be all mishpatim, all rationality, because there's a lot of irrationality in the world. And it can't be all the past, because circumstances change, and we live in a world of the present and the future. So when the Torah teaches us in this week's parish of Torah, the Torah is talking about who can in general, not only the poor and one of the pillars, and that we have Parsha Eva Abishvotim, Asher Tosim Mitnayim. That has to do with things, mitzvahs, that are rational. And then we have all the Bidimadevus, which give us a sense of the continuity of the back. So all of that is combined with this week's Parsha, which is one of the more interesting Parshas that is discussed amongst the Mephorshim as a great bulk of Mephorshim that deal with it, and we can all profit by it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I think some of them said go.